Well, first of all, just speaking in terms of actual physical ability, you know, they always talk about dancers, ballet dancers or modern dancers being these amazing athletes, and they are. And the choreography is beautiful. Uh, but in a basketball game, the athletic ability, the grace, is just as amazing as ballet dancers. And the choreography, once you begin to understand it, is just as intricate and complex. But the difference is it's almost always improvisational. So when you're watching a basketball game, you are watching a form of jazz music. You are watching you know, a form of physical art expressed through physical movement. And, and it is dance. And, and the refusal for any artistic loving person not to appreciate the dance involved in a basketball game is a kind of prejudice they wouldn't allow themselves in other venues. You know, when you drive around town, when you used to drive around town and you see people wearing Sonics jerseys, nine times out of ten it would be a young black man. So uh, basketball is a black sport and the rest of us are following along. So that was part of the diversity. Also, it's a, it's a poverty game. It's a cheap game. Uh, I think in the United States, basketball is like soccer is everywhere else in the world. That's the cheapest game. All you need is a, something resembling a ball and something resembling a goal or a hoop. And, and you can play. And you can play with one person or with a hundred people. And, and so I, I think class is also wrapped up in it a bit, too. It, it's a poor people's game. There is a kind of immediate in intimacy. Uh, you know, you can walk onto a court, and if you're on a court with somebody who knows how to play, uh, you can run a pick and roll with anybody. You know, I've run the pick and roll, you know, with strangers in, in you know, 20 different cities. Uh, you know, New York City, uh, Iowa City, you know, the, you know, Venice Beach, where you run the pick and roll. You run up, you hit that pick, you roll off it. You don't even, you don't even have to think about it or look at the guy because you know the bounce pass is coming. And, and so it's in that moment, that connection between strangers, that connection between human beings, which, which can relate to everything. Uh, if, you can, if you can bond with somebody on a court so immediately like that, uh, it makes you realize that human beings are interwoven in a way. And if it can happen on a basketball court, it can happen anywhere.